All right, so real quick, actually, before we start this video, I know that this video ran a little bit longer than I intended, so I added timestamps down below, so make sure you use them to navigate around this video to make sure that you find everything that you want to find, and so you don't have to sit through anything you don't want to. But I recommend staying till the end of the video because I talk about some combos that Khalid has, so make sure to check it out. Hey, what's going on, gamers? It's The Chronic Gamer here, back with another YouTube video for you guys today. We are going to be doing a character build and guide for Kali. So let's just jump right into it. What I'm rocking on my Kali is we're rocking 1738 attack. All right, so we've got quite a decent bit of attack. We got very little elemental mastery. We only got 30. In terms of what we're actually building, we're looking a, we're ma looking mainly for crit rate and crit damage. That These are the two most important stats on Kali. You're going to want your helmet to reflect this and then pyro damage bonus as well is really, 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 really important. And because I have 103% pyro damage bonus and Klee is a catalyst user, she everything she does is pyro damage. And what that means is I'm essentially always getting an additional 103 bonus damage to everything I do. Let's get straight to my artifacts. I am rocking the 2-2 Crimson Witch and Gladiator's Final. So what you're going to look for on your cup is obviously Pyro Damage Bonus. This is the biggest thing that you can get. For substats, you're going to look for Crit Rate and Crit Damage above everything else. I would then start to prioritize Attack Percent and Flat Attack or Energy Recharge and Elemental Mastery can be good as well. HP and defense you just want to ignore. Now, elemental mastery isn't usually a thing that you usually add to your DPS because most of the time it's your supports that are triggering the elemental reactions. However, with Klee, a lot of times because her auto attacks are very slow, your support, say if you have a Fischl with the Oz out on the field, you are going to oftentimes trigger the elemental reactions with your Kali, thus you're going to want to have some Elemental Mastery. It's going to depend on your guys' playstyle. For the Hourglass, you're going to want Attack Percent because you're just looking to increase that damage more than anything. Elemental Mastery, I guess, if you are really, really, really going into the popping with your own DPS, but I think Attack is just a safe bet overall. And it just makes it easier to play. For the Helm, you're going to want either Crit Rate or Crit Damage as your main stat. Followed by what you didn't have as your main stat as a substat being the most important. Then followed by Attack, Attack Percent, Energy Recharge, etc, etc, Elemental Mastery. Alright. And those substats are what you're looking just in general for every single piece of gear that you're using. Now I'm using 2-2, but what can you guys use? What do you guys need to look for when you're looking for pieces? 2-2 is a great placeholder. I think 2-2 is strong when you just hit AR-45, your AR-46, and it will let you go all the way to AR-50 relatively easily. But after I'd say you hit AR-50, you're gonna wanna start transitioning off of 2-2. And you're going to want to start to go for the four piece now crimson witch four piece i would recommend if you are triggering a lot of elemental reactions with your cleat so if you're building a lot of elemental mastery and you're popping a lot of elemental reactions with your cleat i would seriously look at the overload and burning damage increase by 40 percent increase vaporize and melt damage by 15 percent and this is this basically just buffs your elemental reactions which is really, really nice if you are doing a lot of uh, elemental synergies. With the added bonus, just the cherry on top is using a elemental skill increases your two piece bonus by 50%. So you get an additional seven and a half percent pyro damage bonus when you use a skill for 10 seconds, max three stacks. So because you have your Klee, you have two charges on your Humpty Dumpty, you're gonna get an additional 15% a lot of times however that being said lava walker 
gives you a flat 35% damage increase. So, if you're not doing a lot of elemental reactions, take a look at Lava Walker, because Lava Walker's flat 35% damage applies to everything Klee does. However, they have to have the Pyro Sigil on the enemy already. So, if you're not using a lot of elemental reactions, and your enemies have a lot of Pyro Sigils on them, look at Lava Walker. Otherwise, just stick with 2-2. 2-2 is a very, very safe option. I think that long term, I'm probably going to transition to Crimson Witch 4 piece because I tend to pop, I, do, I, do, I, can, I tend to do a few elemental reactions with my Klee. But 2-2 two, two is very safe. The 2%, 18% attack is always going to be useful. The 15% da pyro damage bonus is always going to be useful for you. For my weapon, I am rocking Lost, Player, Lost Prayer of the Sacred Winds. Now, you probably don't have a 5-star weapon. This is my only 5-star weapon. But the main thing you want to look at when you're thinking about what we weapon to use, you want to have high base attack. Right, the higher the base attack, it's always good. But the substat is gonna be crit rate or crit damage. This is huge. Crit rate, crit damage for sure. Attack percent if you can't find anything good. But let's just look at what I have. I have perception can be all right. I think the passive could be really, really awesome as well. Sacrificial fragments here for the elemental mastery. I wouldn't recommend it though. Wood Sith is huge. I would, I would really, really, really work, work on Wood Sith. Crit damage, that's a really good 4-star weapon. Crit damage is always going to be useful. If you didn't have a crit rate or the battle pass weapon, I would really, really, really recommend right now crit damage with Sith. It's really, really good. I would say Wits is a good option. Battle pass weapon is a good option. If you can't get either of those, I would say Eye of Perception is a pretty good one as well. However, I would strongly recommend a crit substat for sure. So when you are trying to figure out what talents to level up, I am prioritizing my level 7 auto attack combat talent first because I tend to uh, use her as a DPS and DPSs tend to do a bunch of auto attacks, which is why I am prioritizing my normal attack first. You guys do what you think is right, but I would recommend prioritizing your normal attack talent first. All right, so next what we're going to take a look at is talents. So obviously you have your normal attacks. Now Klee's normal attacks are a lot slower than most people. So you're often going to get a higher percentage. Now for skills, we got Humpty Dumpty, which is really simple. It's just you throw out your E, it bounces a bunch, does a bunch of damage, and then it explodes and drops a bunch of tiny little mines. All right. So, Humpty Dumpty, it's a great skill, especially if you've grouped up a lot of enemies, say, with a Venti. Now, not everyone has Venti, but you get the idea. If you can group up a bunch of enemies and then you can use your E, you're going to get a ton of damage. And the mines that come afterwards also do a bunch of damage. You can hold a maximum of two charges. For the alt, we have a Spark and Splash, which is basically, it's a really easy to use alt. It just does damage around you for 10 seconds. Now for passive talent, when Jumpty Dumpty and a normal attack deal damage, Klee has a 50% chance to obtain an explosive spark. The explosive spark is consumed on the next charge attack, which costs no stamina and deals a 50% increased damage. So you want to use Jumpty Dumpty and normal attacks a bunch to, tr to get this passive up, You'll see the little flower circling around you and then you're going to want to charge attack and your charge attacks are going to hit like a truck. Now when Klee's charge attack results in a crit, all party members gain two elemental energy. This is just really nice. Your whole team's just going to get a little bit more elemental energy on your last passive. So for constellation one, when attacks and skills have a certain chance to summon a spark and splash that bombs the enemy dealing damage equal to 120% of Spark and Slash's damage. So I believe it's just like one very, very tiny mini alt. So instead of having a duration of 10 seconds, it's just going to be one single attack. Being hit by Jumpty Dumpty's mines decreases defense by 23%. This is really, really good if you want to start playing Klee as a support. 
However, I wouldn't recommend playing Cleave as support until you at least get a few more constellations because she is just in general a very selfish, selfish, selfish character. However, after you get a few more constellations, she then starts to be able to share the spotlight a little bit. Obviously, level 3 increases your ease damage by level 3 levels. Alright, Sparkling Explosion. And this, I'd say, is what allows Klee to then kind of play as a support. If you switch off your Klee during your ult, it will trigger an explosion dealing 555% of her attack as AoE pyro damage. And that is huge. It's like a huge, 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 huge bomb. You will do a bunch of damage. And this is what allows you to ult and then switch to your other characters. Because usually when you ult with Klee, you have to stay on with Klee for the full 10 seconds to get the full effect of the ult. Otherwise, most of the time, if you're going to switch off Klee, the ult's not even worth using. But this just kind of negates that uh, minus and makes it a huge plus with a huge amount of burst damage. Obviously, Constellation 5 increases the level by of uh, your ult by 3. And then for her capstone talent, Blazing Delight, while under the effects of her ult, Klee will regenerate 3 energy for all members of her party excluding herself every three seconds when spark and splash is used all party members will gain a 10 percent pyro damage bonus for 25 seconds this will allow her to synergize well with other pyro uh, users and actually allows her to support quite well but she is a five star unit i do i think that she is a main dps above everything and if you are going to support using cleat you better bring out your wallet because it is not going to be fun so we are going to do a DPS test now with Klee. And our plan going into this is we're going to have Klee and Jingling. And that's going to give us the Pyro Synergy, bringing my Klee's attack up to close to 2,000, which is really, really nice. Uh, we have a Constellation 1 and 2 on our Jingling. So we're planning to reduce the Pyro resistance of, of the Cryo Bridges Vine. And then with our... Jinchu, we're planning to ult to get a lot of vaporize in there and we're rocking thrilling tales of the dragon slayers as well to further boost up our attack not to mention that we actually have noblesse oblige honor Jinchu. so we're gonna buff our cleaves attack by 20 percent 48 percent and then 25 percent from our elemental synergy so she is going to be doing damage. Hopefully, we can do this in one cycle. I'm I'm not too good with Klee, because Klee is one of the harder characters to play. But hopefully, it works out. Okay, we're just going to ult here. We're going to do this. Alright, so we're going to switch to Klee. We're going to ult here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. Just look at this damage, boys. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so we are at the Yao Gang Shout real quick here to do a quick test and check out how our Klee's attacks looks like with the buffs. So we're going to quickly, we're just going to do a quick DPS test on this this whopper flower thing right here okay so we alt we switch we switch to our clee 2468 attack that is insane oh my god let's pop our alt here all right and let's do a charged attack okay so we are doing a bunch of damage. It died super duper quickly. Obviously, we use our elemental burst and everything, so it died super quick. But 2,000, almost 2,500 attack with the buffs. That is crazy. That is really, 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 really crazy. All right, so this is going to be my very first character build slash guide where I'm going to have to talk to you guys about combos. Now, most characters in this game... You can just attack a bunch and then dodge and that's your combo is whenever you use stamina to dodge you are canceling your animation and attacking super duper fast however with kali it's a different story you can still dodge to cancel your attacks and then attack faster however kali has some combos which do not require stamina 
Now the first combo you want to do is just hold W and you're going to attack to cancel your second attack animation. And if you do it perfectly, you're not going to move a single step forward just like that. And if you mess up, you're going to start moving forward a bit. All right. So if you're standing in the same place, you're doing it perfectly. If you move, if you take a step forward, you're doing it all right. But you basically, it's just going to require practice so that you can get the timing down and do it like so. And this is going to really increase your damage because of how fast you're just attacking. It's like a machine gun compared to how slow she usually is. Another combo you can do is it's a kite combo right here. And you can go one, two, jump, cancel. One, two, jump, cancel. One, two, jump, cancel. One, two, jump, cancel. One, two. And the problem with this combo is that if you jump too early, right, you either don't fire or you fire it off to where you're jumping, which means that if there's an enemy over here that you want to hit, you're actually just going to end up missing them. So you want to make sure that when you're doing this combo, you're going to want to wait just long enough so that the bomb gets thrown in the right direction. And this will allow you to kite enemies if you do it correctly without using any stamina. Making Klee, if you master this combo, one of the most mobile characters. And this is actually a lot easier than the machine gun combo. The timing is a lot more generous. So that is the combo which I would recommend you guys just starting off to use all right anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe i could really use some feedback and i could really use the support anyways chronic gamer out i'll see you in the next video peace